Alright, so we are going to be playing Dungeons 3 for Xbox One. I've never played this game. I don't really know anything about this game. I found it in GameStop. I didn't pay anything for it with a deal going on. Got a used copy of it. I uh, thought it looked neat. Looked like a dungeon crawler. Maybe we make our own dungeons. I'm not sure. We control our army. I have no idea how the game works. Um, we're going to learn it here together. Uh, I thought it would be something completely different for the channel too. You know, another different kind of game for us uh, to expand our horizons a bit. I'm willing to try anything. I like the the art style of the game and everything like that. Came with a booklet too, so I can always refer to that. Uh, I'm going to be it's going to be a big learning curve for me probably since I don't really know what I'm getting into. So bear with me if you know a lot about this game. Well, you probably don't want to watch me play it, but in case you are uh, tips are welcome. Let's. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do like a full series with this, guys. I kind of just want to try the game out. We'll see how it is. Uh, okay, so there it is. Look at that. Yeah, I do love this art style here. This is neat. Um, could be like a war strategy game. I'm not sure. Uh, skirmish. I think it would just be like a pick up and play, and then there's the campaign. I guess we can just do the campaign. Hopefully it'll teach us as we go along. Yeah, let's get into that. Uh, main campaign. I don't know if I should do tutorials first or just get into the main campaign and just kind of learn as I go. I'm better off just like playing the game and learning as I go. If I go through a long tutorial, it's just going to like... I feel like I'm just going to force myself to try and remember everything. And I'm not very good at learning stuff like that. <laughs> When a lot is crammed into a little time space, um, let's just do. The, let's just go into the campaign. The, shadow of the shadows. The shadow okay, of he's gonna read for me. Had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target, a dark elf named Talia. Talia. Shadows of uh, the shadow of absolute evil. Is that us? Okay, these must be our quest. The Shadow Strike successfully complete the mission, the Shadow of Absolute Evil, which is what we're doing. Death and Destruction. Destroy nine heroes with Talia's Firebomb in the mission, the Shadow of Absolute Evil. Okay. Don't let the Shadow take any damage from light in the mission. So this is our first mission play. You can do co-op with this too, I guess. Uh, probably only online. Uh, so yeah, are we, the, are we the bad guys? Maybe we're the bad guys. So let's get into this. Uh, I guess these are just the uh, kind of sub missions that it's telling me I need to do in order to complete this one. Play. Hey Jack, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, first time ever playing this game. No idea what I'm getting into. So we're going to try it out. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a full series with this. If I like the game a lot, like enough, I think we'll continue playing. And obviously, uh, those watching. If they enjoy this, I'll be more inclined to play more of it. Uh, but it's certainly a different take for the channel. Let's get into it. Preparing game. So I don't know if they're like randomly generated maps or what. The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges? The occasional trick played on the little snots? There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, 
and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal, an unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with Devious Evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. <laughs> the annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. Okay, so evil's taking over more of the world. That's good to see. Um, why would it be your fault, Jack, on that one? I'm feeling down. And uh, I believe, what are they gonna? Are we gonna be the vessel for this dark shadow? So, I mean, Dungeons 3, I suppose there was, I assume there was two more of these games before. That's why they gave us a little backstory there. I don't, you know, the story's whatever. I want to see what, what we're actually going to be doing in the game. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Twistrum with his comrades to see his foster daughter Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Sure. Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly <laughs> digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Uh, I don't think so. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? Grimly, the dwarf, yes. I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, you don't. <laughs> uh, you can count on me. <laughs> then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternal. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good, is good. Okay, so we're trying not to become a Sith, yeah. basically. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Jack. Uh, sheep was peacefully grazing... And the next moment, whomp. Let's hope you'll enjoy this, All at least. Explosive effect that ate up Who knows what's going to happen. Budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of okay, the so we are playing. Alright, so... Through the world. All around it died. I don't think this is going to be like real time. Oh, I need to move that Twitch hub because it's kind of blocking that bottom left hand thing and I really can't see what's going on over there. 
Let me see if I can move the my Twitch hub from the bottom left to somewhere else. I know you guys can't see it, but it's kind of blocking my map on the left side. Hold on, let me go into that. Alright, I'm back. I just had to put it uh, in the center on the bottom. Now it's not in my way. Alright, so the shadow, 1,000, 1,000, I don't... Again, I'm not sure what these maps. Looks like there's a waypoint like all the way up here that we're going to. Huh. Just get used to the overlay here. So we have actions, almanac, and army. So we control an army eventually? Oh my goodness. There's going to be a lot to learn here. And there's no way I'm going to learn it all, but I'll do what I can. Create a mat. Now, from what the impressions I get on the back, I think you might be able to create your own dungeons or something. I'm not sure. Gobbler farm. Right, well, we'll kind of learn as we go. Reach Twistrum. So that's our, that's our main goal right now. We have underneath our character there, the shadow. Menu. There's, there's 50 next to it, like a little sword. I think that might be our attack power. Two hourglasses, whatever that means. 4.5. I don't know what those numbers mean yet. All right, so we should let's just try moving our guy. See if we can do that. Can he move? Looking for a willing victim. Maybe I have to select a, t uh, a destination for him. I honestly don't know how to move him. Is there a way to... Hold on. Your evil laughter. <laughs> Cold finger, how about that? I was hoping that there was like a control scheme in here. I guess not. <laughs> I can just go up here. And this music's awesome. Okay, so we gotta go up here. Maybe we gotta select him. It's all happy up there and down here. It's just destruction. Still don't know how to move him. So that brings us back to him when I click A. Oh, now I can see that there's a. Alright, so if I hold the trigger and then put him over there, okay, that's how you. What's he doing to these dead sheep? Over there. I finally got him to move. <laughs> it took me 20 minutes. Alright. I wonder if we should, like, sneak up on somebody?
Okay, it's weird how you have to move. You have to hold the right trigger, hit A, then this icon comes up. Then you have to let go of the trigger and then hit A again. So I think we're a bad guy. Oh, what is this? Let's go see that person. The shadow of the what did evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men. Okay. And let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And there's a shoot, something just hurt us. Here is it the light? I it earlier. For the darkness. Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature, but, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. Yeah, as I just figured right now, we're not going into the light here. So, unlike Alan Wake, we gotta stay away from the light. Walk through the middle here. Well, there's a turkey roasting over there. No, don't go in the light. Oh, I should have moved so he goes straight. Let's see. All right, we gotta move him like over here. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the shadow was able to possess thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. Okay. As long as it wasn't in the light. Gotta wait for him to come back out here. Let me move a little bit closer. Now I'm gonna strike at him. Get him! Shite! I missed him. <laughs> Alright, he's coming back in here. It's just so weird how you have to select things. The shadow of absolute evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Okay, I'm in. Can I go into the light now? Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the shadow's <laughs> possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. There was. The shadow Look at this little town of Tristram. So Talia, the dark elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Nice. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Oh. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know. The mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, uh, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent. May the light of the goddess shine upon you and let us experience. My goodness, this girl's already evil. Spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil. Uh, the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or. Errors or th th something like that. Okay. So we're saving. So this is kind of like a role playing slash strategy dungeon crawler. I don't even know. How that's what I'm getting so far from this. Uh, certainly different from what I usually play on, on the channel. That's why this is not something I usually play, but I, so far, not bad. Uh, I love the graphics here. 
I wish I could just like freely walk around though. I really do. Because moving is... Uh... Now there's the top left I can see on that gray bar there's like these little symbols with zeros next to them. I don't know what those mean. Don't know what any of this stuff means yet. But we know how to move, that's all. <laughs> Right here. Just gotta be careful where you move to. Here comes a guard. Alright, let's actually move over here. He looks like he's gonna circle around this wagon here. I think I gotta go around here and then down there. I see what's going on. So you gotta kind of time your moves. comes another guard. Where's he going? Please don't come this way. Oh, you... Go, 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 go. Is he just gonna stand there? I know he's moving away. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Hurry up here. I gotta do it. I'm gonna move like right here. And then when he turns his back, I gotta move into this area here. The looks of it. Hurry up. Move. Yes, I gotta move. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is kind of neat, actually. I'm gonna move there. Now we gotta move up into there. Hurry up, hurry up. <coughs> What's going on here? Shoot, get out of there. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimway, king of the dwarves, but I am used to the cold, dark tunnels under the mountains. Can I need him to get through. Stupid lamp shining into my eyes. Now get through here, probably. Alright, I see what I gotta do. My good friend Tavos is foster daughter. Curse him. The dark elf is a dark elf, and nothing will change that. The Can I not? Will always be tainted. Am I like taking up? Target practice with this guy or something? All right, I have to like possess this guy again, then move across this pretty fast. There we go. Enough chit chat, men. You stay here and secure the area. I have to go check my invention. Stay alert. Shoot, where is he going? I feel something evil lurking in the area. And it's not just that damn pointy ear. Surprised I haven't been seen yet, to be honest. After this cliched monologue, Grimly disappeared into the darkness. The impatient evil shadow set off again. Oh shoot. In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes with lanterns began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully these guys don't move. Well, now they're moving. So we gotta be quick here. Oh, look at this. Shoot, they're coming over here too. Shoot. 
Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm going, but we're just gonna go this way. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Ah! Finally, finally, the time had come, and the shadow of the passes in the slow lane evil was within range of Talia, the dark elf. There we go, I got her. My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this orphanage and destroy it utterly and all <laughs> of you with it. What did she say? Die! <laughs> Alright, so we are evil here. What am I doing here? Am I just like attacking everything? No idea how to attack. I feel the power within me. Attack! It's over 9,000! Unimagined power. It's over 9,000. Hey, Russell. The black magic of the dark elves. She immediately began to unleash right. these powers of chaos upon the world. She's powerful, huh? Oh! <laughs> yeah! I don't like your dress, lady. Take, take a look at this. Boom! All. Wow. So we really the are the bad guy. through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam, while screaming, Kamehameha! <laughs> Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake... Hang it in there, I guess, Russell. How you doing? <laughs> ...and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month, with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library, as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the many and wasting evil's new favorite hench person. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Okay, so we got past the first challenge there. Uh, Twistrum in Ruins is the next one. New Rooms and Creatures. Collect a total of a thousand evilness in this mission. So now we might be attacking. Yeah, so I got some laundry done today, and now I'm uh, now I'm gonna stream some stuff for a bit. Um, yeah, definitely let me know what everyone thinks of this game. If you guys want to see more of this, certainly we'll play it. I like it so far; it's definitely different. So um, if this is a series people want to see more of. I'll come back to it. 
either if you're on the, the stream or you know you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment in there. Just let me know what you think. Uh, no one has to die today. It says uh, if we don't lose any of our creatures. The treasury provides an additional place to store your go gold besides your throne room. Okay, gobbler farm. Gobblers are created on the gobbler farm. Delicious gobbling little creatures, perfectly suited to satisfy the hungry of horde creatures and demons alike. So that's what we use to feed them. Horde creatures set up camp in the hideout to satisfy their need for sleep. At the same time, they heal any damage suffered. Orc. So we have orcs. Melee fighter with plenty of life energy and good armor possesses the blind rage skill. We have got goblins, which I'll probably use a lot of actually. Melee fighter that can't take much but deals a lot of damage. All goblins have the incospicious. Incospicious. Skull, skill, wait, am I reading that word right? No, I'm not. I'm not. Inscon inconspicuous skill, my goodness. Why did it take me so long to... <laughs> I'm like, I thought I saw a different word, a different letter there. A weak ranged fighter with medium range is the Naga. Heals allied horde units. Talia and conver converted uh, heroes using their healing skill. So they're kind of like healers. Alright, so... I guess we'll just go into it. Might as well. But yeah, hope you are good today, Russell. Gonna do this. I might do some uh, State of Decay 2 next, or Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Something else I gotta record. Uploading a new uh, pickups video as we speak, so people want to see that. Go check out some games I picked up. Oh no! I've fallen to evil again. Father will be beside himself. He was right when he said, "You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain." Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Things, pillaging and showing those nasty goody two shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> they just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. <laughs> okay. Into the dungeon she goes. Villainous monologue. Something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal. Filled with the magic savvy evil's power. It's like the dungeon's heart, as they said. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued again. Hello, greetings. <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. <sighs> right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved revenge! All right, let's get that revenge, shall we? All right. So we need to destroy buildings. Good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. This is our little home. Evil army. Naturally, gold. Strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to. That evil hand. And creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the okay, sophisticatedly so got... thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. Get the gold snuffer. Oh, we're mining for gold here. 
Pick it up, Snuffer. Alright, so the evil hand gives us gold. Where do I bring this? To my character? What do I do with the gold? Oh, I guess we just add it to that. The grandiose evil's helpers had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some So we can mine through our I wish that guy would shut up for like 2 seconds. The new improved <laughs> research menu was now available. I know he's trying to teach me though. I'm just trying to figure it out myself a lot of it. I learned from doing. All right, so we have this gold. I just got to figure out how to put this gold down, like where I bank it. I'm not sure where I bank it. Do we just keep picking up gold? Uh, 10.75 gold, where do I put it though? Do we give it to Talia? Alright, ooh, look at this, okay, actions, maybe we can try that. Can I put the gold there? I wish you would just tell me the controls more than anything right now. Alright, so we have Snuffer, Snuzzles, Sniff, Snopsies. Look at them all. They're working, okay. It's not letting me do anything until I put this gold down. So we can construct things. Uh, a treasury should probably do this. This is probably what we need. Twenty-five gold per tile. Okay, so we don't. We can kind of zoom in with that control stick. I really wish I knew where we could put this gold down. It's not letting me do anything else until I get this, uh... I put this gold down. Put it down. Oh, I see. Notifications. Payday. Wages paid. Zero. We have to actually pay them? So we're out here, huh? So that's how you change. So you can change regions with the um, up and down on the D-pad. I should probably try like building something. We need to destroy the guard buildings, obviously. Conquer the good locations. I just want to put down this damn goal. <laughs> oh, wait, we were onto something there. Over there. 
are they building something over there? Are they just cleaning? Alright, All right, well there's the gold now. All of a sudden it's just down. Okay. Sorry guys, it's going to take me a bit to learn the controls in this game. It's uh... Weird. So we need to like clear out. I'll be some of this. Who's coming over here to do this? We have a thousand gold now. Sniff is coming over. The somewhat sluggish evil had so far failed to gain an overview of the many research opportunities. It hurriedly did so. I think we should like. So there's certain rocks that we can build through, other ones that we can't. Is anybody coming over to mine that? No, they're just sweeping up, really. So we could build like a room right here, it looks like. I really don't get how we put down the gold all of a sudden, so... We're not really controlling any character right now. Talia is just kind of overseeing everything. So really, we're the mastermind of all this. We're just trying to... All right. I need to hire, like, some other... Monsters, I think. What can I do with these guys? Oh, I see. I could turn them into something else. What do I do? Did I get rid of them? Did I get rid of my army? Snozzle. Yeah, I think that they're all, like, gone now. Except for Snopsy. Select pick up. Camera. Holy frig, we picked up Snopsy. Put him down. Snoffer. Oh, I see. You do that and you can kind of move your guys to where you want them. I see. It's just like a quick... Way to pick up a bunch of guys and then move them around. Alright, I thought they were gone. I was worried. Alright, somebody mine this right here. Snuffle. Snuzzle. And that one behind it. Good work, Snuffle. Hey, where are you going? The work is not done. Still getting really used to the controls and like how they work and all that, guys. You just have to hold A and press A, then they'll go after it. Wanna mine a lot of this out of here. Oh, nice job, Snuffle. They all work together here. They can get this done pretty quickly. Payday. Payday. How do I... How do I, uh... Effectively used. Or how do I pay them? Like I'd like to pay them. How do I do that? And they're doing a good job now. Clearing out this area here. And another one there. Okay.
So construction menu. Can we build? The treasury provides an additional. This is the only room that we can can really build. Should we just build a treasury? I think. So this can be like our treasury room. Like. Oh, there's so much more that we can get rid of though. Start building our treasury room right here. We'll just start it right there for now. So we should be able to like, collect this gold. After they mine this. Give it a mine, Snuffer. Nice. Some gold. He's, is he going to bring that to the treasure room by himself? Alright, so he's going to go deliver that gold. That's good. So whatever they mine, they'll pick up themselves and deliver. Get us that money. Snuzzle. In the oh, nice. Alright, so we got that. Now we should be able to put that... Alright, now I know how to put down the gold. So we can mine like either way there. Um, I should probably put the treasury. What is this saying? Armor bonus increases the creature's armor level a little bit. All right, so can we give that to to Snopsy? Snuffle picked it up. Delivering it to the throne room. What do I do with it? Alright, creatures. weird because I can't like move that menu at all. Let's see if we can um I don't need the almanac right now. I wonder how to use this thing. Or if that's just in there and it just provides for everybody. That might just be general bonus for everybody. I was wondering if I could just apply it to a specific creature. Or not. So we need to go to destroy some stuff. I'm not sure how we even begin to fight. I feel like we should create some stuff first. Let's mine over here. I don't know what other kind of rooms that we can create, but we should probably just try and get more gold too. these little guys go. Come on, Snopsy. Good old Snopsy. I wonder if this is like, if they die in battle, like, do we lose them forever? I don't want to lose Snopsy. I've been, I'm kind of attached. Should we go to the research tab, Russell says? The research menu. Research menu. Oh, yeah, yeah. Opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Nice call, Russell. All right, so this shows us what we have already. No lecture hall. Throne room. So I kind of want, we want like a, we started building a treasury, we kind of, we want a workshop. 
Gobbler farm, maybe. Horde rooms. So this just shows us what's going on right now. Everything that's connected to our our heart here. So we need need a gobbler farm, huh? Payday. So we have to research for. I don't get payday. <laughs> you can never have enough of these little snots. Each level of this research increases the number of your little snots by one. We should maybe we should get more workers first. Five hundred. There we go. That should give us more, right? It's payday. Uh, the treasury provides an additional place to store your gold besides your throne room, preferably near. Gold veins. Okay. These are the armies. These are the big creatures. Level 1 out of 15. We don't have any of those yet. Uh, we can improve Talia. How much does that cost? 50? And 50 fire rings, whatever that is. Uh, gobbler. Hideout. Naga. Improved Horde. Okay. Let's get a hideout too. Let's research that. I'll research that as well. Okay. <coughs> so, do we have more of these guys now? No. We're getting gold and everything. Keep building over this way as far as we can to open up this room a bit. So it's probably a bit before we even like go on this attack, huh? So we're learning this game. This game is kind of neat, I must say. Never played anything like this before. Like the strategy games aren't something I have a lot of experience with, like at all, really. Um, not that I wouldn't like them, I just never got into them. Never had the chance to play too many of them. Uh, that Agorist, uh, Record of Agorist War Zero game that I have for 360 might be a kind of like a turn based uh, game as well. So I still haven't played that one yet. I guess I'm just gonna mine as much as I can right now just to clear out a lot of this area. They're doing a good job, I would say. Get me more gold. Like lemmings. Look at this. Alright, let's start mining. Let's start squaring this out. I know there's gonna be gold everywhere. Some more gold there. Get it, Snuzzle. Snopsy's over there, like, where do I go? Well, Snoodle is getting us some gold there. Look at him go. Good stuff. What did I do? Oh, I, I didn't mean to pick him up. So the hand oversees things, and he can kind of. Manipulate with that too. I'm gonna keep building this way towards what will be our throne room over here, I guess. I feel like I should leave a line there just to kind of connect the rooms. Where'd everybody go?
What does everybody think of this game so far? Has anybody actually played this game before? Whether you're watching on Twitch or later on on YouTube. Or whatever. Uh, what do you guys think? Get gold. Get gold there. This big room we can do something with. Snuffle, snoddle, and snuzzle. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open this up a little bit more here. Sniff. We should probably open this up here too. Looks good, you haven't played it yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly different, isn't it? I said I didn't pay anything for this game. When I got a GameStop, I had coupon and they were doing like buy so many used games get one free so I got a few free games and the other ones I just covered with the coupon so we have oh geez a giant spider okay okay that's creeping me out just a little bit you guys know if you're new to the channel just know that I am terrified of spiders in real life absolutely terrified uh, what do I do somebody fight it Wait, is it on our side? Maybe it's gonna help us. Is the spider on our team? I think it is. I don't know what to do with the spider yet. <laughs> it's just kinda hanging out, huh? It's not like attacking anybody, is it? It's just kind of hanging out. Here comes Talia. Hey! Oh, she's fighting it. She's not gonna get up. All right, well. Jack says I'll deal with the spiders for you. Thanks, Jack. I'll I'll ship them to you. That's what I'll do. I'll collect them and I'll ship them to you, and then you can deal with them. <laughs> Lord knows I don't want to deal with them. Uh, let's start building back this way, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, I just can't handle spiders at all. It's just something... Like I said, like cockroaches and ants and silverfish, like, I'm okay with them, really. I don't like cockroaches, but I don't, like, freak out if I see one. It's just when it comes to spiders, it's that arachnophobia, man. It kills me. The bigger, the nastier they are, oh my goodness. Ugh. Alright, I gotta stop thinking about spiders. Let's get the gold. I like the music in this game though, it is it's quite neat. It's it suits it. Well, let's keep mining through here. More gold to get. Chop chop chop. I don't even know if this is like what I should be doing right now. I'm just doing it anyways. Okay, there we go. Now we've kind of like... Once we get that gold, perhaps we should do some more research. 
Creatures. Oh, can I buy a creature now? Here, creatures uh, from all factions can be hired. Okay. So I want to get some goblins in. They're 250 apiece. They have a health of 880. Their attack is, what, 2 times 40, so 80? <laughs> what does that time thing mean? I don't know what that means. See that little hourglass thing underneath their stats there? I don't know what that means. I assume the other one means armor. Let me see if the booklet tells me what that is. Let me just open up the booklet real quick. So nice having a booklet. Whether it's going to tell me everything I need to know. Uh, research trees, uh, army management, almanac. Places of good, pathways, controlling heroes. Doesn't actually show me what that is. This is all creatures want gold. Hunger too, which I think we need from the gobbler farm. We should probably build a gobbler farm too. So yeah, it doesn't necessarily tell me what that means, but it does give me some other great things. All right. Russell says, I can deal with spiders, but snakes are another story. Yeah, I don't like snakes too much either. I mean, I could deal with small snakes, fine gardener snakes. They don't freak me out. You know, but if it's a big snake or something, yeah, obviously I'm, I'm not going to like seeing that at all. So Jack says, I once had a snake around my neck. Oh my goodness. They don't bother you that much. I don't think I'd want that. I'm hiring a goblin. There he is. Twix Mix. <laughs> Sounds like a bad Twix cereal or something. Uh, I used to, I had a snake as a pet once. A gar it was a little gardener snake. I used to pet it. Said so, hey, the small ones don't bother me. So here's Twix Mix. Uh, sleep seven percent. Hunger. No bunk. So oh, we need like quarters for them too. All right, let's start building. How do I build like a quarter for them to sleep in a hideout, I guess? So they paid, I think it just automatically pays them? Yeah, it does. We have that. Okay. Let's start building a gobbler farm in here. I don't know how much room we need for a gobbler farm, but this is what we're doing. This will be our gobbler farm area. Kind of make it as symmetrical as I can here. So I don't mind paying the gold for this if it means that they get to eat. So what is this thing? Let's just keep building it out here. Come snuzzle, sniffle. Taya's coming into the gobbler farm, I don't know why. So there we go, there's our little farm so far. Uh, gobbler farm efficient, efficiency, 20%. Now what happens here? Do I just leave it alone? Does it... Does it start growing on its own? Does she do the work here? We have seven, zero out of 17 gobblers so far. I assume that they'll eventually grow. Uh, yeah, here they come. So they'll hatch out. This is, this is pretty neat. Okay, so we'll leave that as is. And we definitely need a hideout too. 
Uh, we can put our hideout up here, I guess. We'll build this way. And we'll get some more gold while we're at it. Uh, this is fun, just, just managing this, uh, the, our, our dungeon here. In a way, it kind of reminds me of the Disney Magic Kingdoms game, too, a bit. But, uh, I have a... I don't want rooms broken up here. You'll see what I'm doing here. What we'll do is we will do that. We will mine this, 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 this. a lot of gold right here. This will help us out. I don't wonder how far down this can go. Somebody get those. Notifications. Twix Mix would like to sleep but has no bunk. Oh, I'm sorry, Twix Mix. Well, I don't have a hideout yet. That's what I'm working on. We're going to build a hideout over here. You want to sleep? Okay, hang on just a bit. Start mining in this way. Just want a little wall separating that. There's lots of gold here to be found. I wonder if the hand can pick all this up and Get the gold. Okay, yeah, the hand can pick up all this gold that they aren't picking up. Deliver it to, I guess, the throne room. There we go. Am I the only one probably streaming this game right now? I'm sure this game's got a pretty good following. I want to build just a little bit more out here. More of our workers in there. I want to hire more workers, that's what I need to do. There we go. Leave that main hall there. Could even put a door right here, just so we have one. Cut across there if they need to. There we go. Alright, let's uh start opening up this bunk here. Pick up the gold hand. No 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 don't 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 break this. Darn it. I don't want that broken. Oh, actually, that just kind of curved it. That's fine. That's actually fine. Somebody get this gold. Okay, let me see if I can... upgrade my workers here. Improve research. Increase their level. There we go. 
I guess that means they'll work faster. I don't know. I kind of want more of these guys. Look at that. They seem to be a little quicker. Yeah, here they go. They're doing well now. We gotta start building the uh, the hideout here. Gold. Get that gold, bring it in there. Okay, while well that's going. Start building the hideout here. There you go, now they're gonna have their quarters. Let's go check on our gobblers. Oh, here we go. Snoddle's working on something there. Where's what's his name? Twix Mix. We can go drop him off in there. Where'd he go? There he is. I bet he's coming over here on his own. <laughs> A little more quarters here. There you go. One bed. That's it. That was not gonna do. Gonna build them a nice big quarters over here. I guess we only have one bed because we only have one uh, guy for our army. To hire more too. Everything costs gold though, so we gotta keep mining more of this. Okay. <sighs> oh man. Pretty neat game. I wasn't sure what I was expecting with this when I put it on when I even picked it up. This is quite fun. Learning it as we go here. Snuffle, snizzle, and snurs. I'm going to keep going this way here. More gold out here. Look at our gobbler farm. 13 of 17 gobblers. Snuffer snurs, get in there and sniff it. I like that I can just pick up the gold too myself and just deliver it. A lot of the gold disappears because of um because of payday, I think. Are you stealing it, Talia? She's probably stealing it. <laughs> um Yeah, let's keep going. Keep going this way here. Take this out so we can get the gold. Okay. 
fourteen hundred. Uh, Twix mix is we out there. We gotta hire some more uh, some more creatures. I think. Let's get another goblin in here. Hire two more of them. What are their names? Kaz Meeks and uh, Quinksel, Quick Quizinkle or whatever. Kaz Mix. I wonder. I wish you could name your characters, that would be awesome. Quizinkle, Quizinkle, I guess we can call him. And Twix Mix. Oh, I picked up Talia. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know I had her. What else do I have here? Jeez, I picked up everyone. So we got some goblins in there. Look at them having a conversation. I wish you could name them, that would be funny. But I guess, you know, we're gonna get so many of them, it's not gonna matter. We don't want anything to happen. The snot alert. Quick mix for sure. There you go, Snoddle. Pick up some of that gold. Get this gold in there. Gobblers are all hatched, so they're in there. So they're gonna like eat on their own, I suppose. Hunger, uh, 80, 38%. I mean, they got quarters to sleep here, so they're fine. We should try taking out one of those guard buildings. I don't have enough army though yet. That's the thing. Uh, we can expand our treasury over here. Start building it. Might as well. All along here. Can't have a big enough throne room, can you? We can hold more gold in here. And then we'll start clearing some of this out. We can expand it more. There's plenty of gold right here too. Lots of gold right there. I assume completing missions is going to get you a lot of gold too. I would think. One would think. Yeah, look at this, we're almost over 2,000 now. Keep breaking through there. Gotta get the money, Uncle Scrooge's money. Still a lot of gold right here. I'll take it myself.
These guys don't have to sleep or anything, huh? They're just here to work. Payday. What is this thing? Gold vein. What? Somebody do something to the gold vein. What does this thing do? What do I do with this? Snopsy, what do I do? Remaining 14,800. Is that in there? How do we break that open? Selecting it, nobody's coming over to it though. How do we break this thing open? Maybe it'll tell me in here. Gold vein, where is it? That's all I care about. Not tell me anything about a gold vein. hall to build a treasury on it oh oh yeah thanks again Russell that makes sense so. all right let's so we got to expand the treasury over there oh, there we go because if we can get all this gold it's not letting me build on it maybe we build around it I don't know if this is gonna work but Treasury right around it. I don't know. Now can they do it? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Russell. Good idea. And look at this. Get all that gold. I want it all. We're greedy. We want it all. Leave no piece behind. Now we can go to our research menu. Bring them up a bit. They earned it. And our army will bring that up too before we even go. Pretty sure you guys are going to see another episode of this, for sure. Uh, yeah, this is quite, kind of fun here. We haven't even gotten into the battles yet. Uh, it might be a little while. Still don't know what to do with this thing, if we have to, like... I don't know. Maybe we can give it to... Where's Twix Mix? Where is he? There he is. Can we like give it to one of them? I feel like we should just be able to give it to whichever creature we want, right? We did, okay. So his... His armor went up. That's how we do it. Twix Mix wants to... He's hungry, so come over here, man. Where'd he go? Oh, 
I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Go to sleep if you're tired. Oh my goodness. Do I have to babysit all of them? Right, so we have a gold vein here. They're gonna keep mining this, which is fine. Keep putting it in here. So while they're doing that, in the throne room, they're just sweeping up now. A lot of them. There's four of them still doing that. So we do have more more workers here. We definitely do. I don't want to build that way yet. I don't want to keep expanding this a little bit. They keep working on that. How big this freaking dungeon can get. Oh, we found another upgrade. Get it over there, Snottle. We'll build these two there. We are getting money, though, from all this. Let's, let's hire an orc. How much do they cost? 300. There we go, we have Vlorg the, vo the Orc. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get another Orc. We have Hulkirk. Call him Hulk or whatever. Nerves is still getting gold from there. That's good. I think I'm going to hire a few more creatures for our army. Then maybe we can try taking out one of those guard buildings. Should just like build over that way to get the rest of this gold. Let's hire. Um oh, do we have to research those? Yeah, we do. Naga. Oh, we need a hundred what? Under the fire ring. I don't know what that is. That must be something we get in combat. We can't even hire one of them yet. Let's get another goblin in here. Remix. Rocks mix. I love the names. Just like gold, like sitting over here. Can we not hold it in there? Oh, we really can't. We're like, we're maxed out here. I see. We can actually build right there. Let's expand. Our treasury. Keep 
that coming in there, keep the gold coming. Yeah, they work pretty good now, don't they? Expand this all the way down here, might as well. And we can upgrade our workers yet again. Mine more and more gold there. So we got plenty of room for more gold right now. We have this, which is what exactly? This is a wage reduction, reduces the creature's wage demands. Cosmetics. There. He's not going to want as much money. If they're hungry, do I really have to drop them in here themselves? They won't just go in there and feed themselves? No bunk. Alright, we need more bunks too. Okay. It's only 15 gold per tile, so. Expand this. Make sure our troops are happy before we go into our first battle. Expand this some more. Gonna be our little quarters area because eventually we're gonna have a pretty dang big army, aren't we? We'll just expand it all the way over here for now. There. Now they can all have places to sleep. Sneffles build another bed. Um, hmm. So it's saving. Let's mine over here a little bit more to get some more gold. build a huge throne room to, <laughs> to keep all this gold. How comes I can't hire another orc or another goblin? That's weird. It's not letting me hire. They're grayed out. Why is that? Is my army at like maximum size right now? Do I need to upgrade her in order to get more creatures perhaps? Let's go outside and go into... So what are we destroying? Remaining guard buildings, which are where? So you have to move the troops all the way. Where are the guard buildings? I honestly have no idea how to get them outside. Can 
Okay, I like picked them up. Maybe I have to go into this. You all gonna get woken up. Then maybe I go out there and drop them. Oh yeah, here we go. So you pick him up with the hand, then you can move the army. I see. Okay. We're making our way. I assume I can kind of move Blind in who I want first. Oh crap! The dauntless evil's creatures. Fight them! At the disgusting brightness. Finally, yeah, get, get them. You better not kill Twix Mix. At last, they were able to carry the Look at that, we're wrecking them. People, and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon. As is the case with so other <coughs> fire rings, what is that? All about? Rohan, I, I mean my vicious hordes. Let's get these tree huggers and I thought she was gonna say, Follow me, sons of bitches. I was like, alright. That way. Yeah, what is going on here? Don't you dare kill Twix Mix, I will kill you. Hey, we are f flying through them though, to be to be fair. As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men. Have a look around and report back to me. How's everybody doing? Where's Twix Mix? The well armed, he's fine. What is this? Healing potion heals creatures, okay. What can I select to give that to? Lorg. Lorg, you need this. Go get that, Vlorg. Can I give it to him? Shoot. Lorg! They're gonna kill him. Lorg, no, get out of there. Oh, that's close. That is close. How do I use this? I can move them to it, but I just want to heal the creature. It's payday. Okay, it's payday. Every day is payday, isn't it? Orga, I just want to heal him. Maybe she has to pick it up. What can I do for you? You can pick this freaking potion up, that's what you can do. <sighs> How? How do I do this? Maybe Vlorg has to like walk through it? No. Standing right next to it. You desire? I desire to heal Vlorg. I don't know how that worked, but it worked. I, I don't even know what button I pressed, but Vlorg actually picked it up. Okay, he's the one I wanted to have it. I don't even know how that how that happened. <laughs> My goodness. All right, let's continue going here. Everybody's going this way. Let's go. So far, we're doing fine in battle. We just got it. That ring of fire. Shoot, there's like mages over here. 
Get him out. Get him out. There you go. Get him, Vlorg. Twix mix. Need another healing potion. Who is this? Quizinkle's hurting. What are they doing? Oh, they're like attacking this building. Hey, help him out. You're the one with all the power. There we go. So that's one of the guard buildings we had to take out. Did they not give us a potion? So we own this area now. Ha ha ha. Uh, there's, let's, I think there's more down here. Let's go this way. First. Oh, that ring of fire thing that we need. What is that? We can't upgrade Talia without that. It must be like after completing a mission. I'm pretty sure we can save like in the middle of, of all this too. Can I upgrade my army while I'm here? I can. There we go. And now I can't without the Ring of Fire. Okay. No, who's hurting the most? Quinksel. Evil here? Damn it all. How did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right, men. Get ready to attack in waves. Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked Shoot. all at once? Where's the fun in that? Wave after wave. I need to bring um Thanks to the enemy's limited tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration, to get the beer and hire the orc dancers. To get the the orc dancers uh <laughs> They're gonna be child's play. Leave no, Quinks Quinksel. Hold them back and let them He's gonna die. I think we lost one. Holkirk's dead. Twix mix. Did Twix mix die? Oh, he's still alive. Okay, thank goodness. We lost a couple there. Darn it. We need one of the healers too, that's what we need. Oh, we need to we need to like return home, I think. Uh, what? Can I not bring them back home? I thought I could just pick them up and return them home, so we can't it's not that easy, is it? Are we gonna lose more people if we're not careful? Problem is we're getting like no healing potions. We had that one. Who's this? Twix mix is back here. Is he like the leader? <laughs> I think we should all like retreat. I feel like we should retreat because we need like more, more orcs or something. I didn't know Twix Mix wasn't there with us. I also need more upgrades for our guys. Back inside. Payday. Now, do they come in? Still out here. It's gotta be an easier way to get them back inside. It's not gonna let me pick up any of them. Shoot, we're in trouble. I think I need a bigger armory. You certainly do. So let me put them back inside. 
go ahead and select him. He can't get in. Maybe until the mission's over, we can't leave. Or, I mean, return. So, can I hire somebody, please? Okay, I can hire another orc. And another goblin. And another orc. Come on, troops. We're going. We're all going. Here they go. All right, so everybody's here. I am the evil. I think we need to like finish this freaking. Ugh. Why? Why are they not following her? Really, nobody's following her. So that's what I need to do. That's just like a big select all thing. There we go. That's what that big green circle's for. Keep learning. We keep learning something new. Should we like go down here? I think we should go down over here too. Fight! So maybe we can't return anybody until like these uh... Is ...that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice-cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. Everybody's uh, to we defeat this... ...this mission, I guess. Right, who needs this? Can I just like heal the frugal? Kazamiks Vlog Vlorg. Again, I've no idea how to Vlorg. Oh you have to like you have to send them to it and hit X. I guess that's how you do it. Alright. Come on, guys, go get him. The studio. Oh, we might lose a few here. Twix Mix. He does have the army, the armor though. We're doing all right. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Hey, the little town of good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface, and something. What is this thing? Yes, evil. Really Compact evil. evilness for collecting. Evilness in a practical spherical form was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah. With oh, I see. Evilness is the. Side, it was another. Balls of fire. So now we can probably upgrade her. Used for more powerful research. There we go. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart. And the creatures. And there we go. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil. Lorg is almost dead. To research something. The dungeon heart is being attacked. Are you freaking kidding me? What can I do? can all get back to our dungeon before we all... Lorg is gonna die. I want more evilness though. I honestly, I still don't know how to get them back inside though. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Yeah, I can see that. Shoot, I got no attackers in here either. Shoot. What do I do? 
I can't even open the menu selection either. <laughs> they aren't going to be able to fight them. Oh, how do I get them back inside? Come on, get over there. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Back inside. I can't pick up any of them. Heyday. You know, coming in. Get in. Oh my gosh, how do I get my army inside? Shoot. I don't know how to do this. It should be easy, right? Your dungeon heart is under attack. I don't know, it's not letting me get them in here. I literally have to hire an orc to come fight. <coughs> fight him. He's dizzy, what the... Oh, this is going to be it. He's not going to win this fight. Get him. No, Snopsy, get out of there. Oh, this is so bad. How do I get my army inside? I still can't select any of them. Now it's letting me select just him. Yeah, it won't let you select anybody that's outside the dungeon. Oh my gosh. We need a plan. We need one quickly. Our dungeon heart's going to die already. And I doubt there's any way we can heal it, huh? Fight him. Son of a... I think another thing I'm gonna do is the research that had unlocked some new research and immediately set about trying it out. Oh, I can't hire one of them either. All right, so he took care of it. Right, dude, you need to heal. Good job, La, La Fresh. Might need to finish the mission. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's probably what I need to do. But that's annoying because I got nobody in here. Eat up. Can he heal with by eating? No. This poor guy's gonna be in here fighting alone. Does he slowly heal over time? Where'd he go? Did he die? Oh, he's sleeping. Let's see if his health slowly goes up. I think Thorg died. Yeah, so their health slowly goes up when, like, they're resting. No, 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 you can go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so there's still a lot we need to learn here. Uh, for I mean, I would just love to get... Let's get some more gold in there. Oh, we can't even fit any more gold, can we? I, I need to get my army inside. This is like ridiculous. <laughs> Where are the rest of my army? Are they over here? Oh, they killed some people. They were attacked while we were in there. Hey, Rumex. We can go get that. I want Thanos's head. Uh. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Did it. Again, a simple thing that took me so long to figure out for no reason. <laughs> I tried that already there before. I already tried to move them all in there, so I don't understand why it didn't happen before, but maybe I hit the wrong button. Gosh. Everybody's bearing with me here as I'm learning on the go with this game. Alright, so we got them inside. Now we can select who we want to come back out and fight with us. So that's right, we don't have to finish the mission. We can kind of do it in bits and pieces here. Which is good to know. Let them all rest up and heal. Um, I'll probably end this first part soon-ish. I do want to expand uh, the treasury a little bit. So we can hold more of this gold. There we go. We'll just keep expanding the treasury over here. Might as well go right up to that for now. No, actually cancel that. Cancel that. It's payday. Oh, so we've already gone up to there. Oh. All this space. I want to fill it up with gold. There we go. Okay. Now I wonder if there's a way that if you can heal your dungeon heart? Probably not. Probably not. I don't like that the enemies have a straight shot to our heart as soon as they come in, just boom. I wish I could build walls there or something. See if we can get one of these things in here. Healing, a healing creature, let's get one of those in. We've got ourselves... Selgomish! Look at this thing. What happened here? The whole city is in ruins! I drank a beer right over there just yesterday. <laughs> so they're gonna come attack us probably. Huh? Building more beds, Snopsy. I think I can just yeah, I can just save it at any time. That's good. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Attack them. Look at him just waltzing in here. Get him, fight him. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Get these punks. We got Snow White over here fighting. Okay. We have 700 evilness now. Twix Mix is still here. I want to like upgrade him more if we can. Gotta find more upgrades, I suppose. So Gomes, Thulak, Lafrash, Shack. LaFresh well, saved us earlier, didn't he? He saved Hart by himself earlier because we had, didn't know how to get everybody inside. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I picked up everybody. <laughs> Off you go. Alright, um... He's going to eat. Alright, so they do go and eat on their own. That's good to know. 
Let's upgrade her. Because I feel like that's going to be important. And our army as well. And them. Alright, uh, I'm going to end this part right here, guys, uh, before we go back out and probably try and take out some more of that, those buildings on the mission. Uh, fun game. Uh, <laughs> wasn't Didn't know what to expect, but uh, I enjoy it. And it seems like you guys like it alright. So I'll probably uh, do more of this soon. Uh, I'm not sure when this will be posted on YouTube, so this could be, you know, in the next couple days or it could be a month from now. I don't know. Because I try to um, upload things at different times. They don't, you know, I don't want 50 different series at once going. It'll be tougher for you guys to follow, and also harder for me to kind of construct myself to certain games. So, um, but, you know, taking a break from Pez and short break from Pez, and taking a break from my time at Porsche. And we've got probably like halfway through Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and and the Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, take care, everyone. Russell and Jack, thank you for being here and chatting. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. And if you like this, just let me know. You know, just leave a comment and get more out quickly. And uh, I'll probably stream some more stuff today. Gonna take a break for a bit and I'll be back. So till next time, everybody. Zero is the number. Just gotta save it first. Uh, we'll do our own save game. There we go.